Good Monday morning guys. Um, I thought today would be a perfect day to give you an update on the mats I purchased to try to cut down on dirt and wet paws. Um, it's been raining since late Saturday evening here. Um, it is a wet, muddy, muddy mess you can't probably really tell let's go out the front window sorry guys it's dark in here because the lighting and i have no lights on um let's see if we can show you you guys looking for squirrels yeah see all the puddles and stuff it's just a wet rainy rainy mess here um right now and it's supposed to rain pretty much all day today too so i haven't I had to clean my floors on, what day that was that 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 happened? Friday evening, today's Monday. And the only reason I had to clean my floors Friday is because my son was bringing up a dish um, that had, he had had some, he had made some nachos. And he dropped it. And it is, a, I have, I, well, I bought new dish, dishes because of this. I've had Corel dishes. I had my grandma's old Corel dishes. And if you've ever had Corel dishes, you know that when they break, they break into a million little shards of glass. <laughs> so we had to, I had to shake all my rugs outside um, in the front. I did not do it in the back to make sure there were no little shards. Um, I then had to sweep and do all that and then I had to clean mop the floors because of the taco meat grease and all that because there was a little bit of taco meat left in his dish so but I have not cleaned these floors or even uh vacuumed them since Friday and today's Monday and it was a rainy mess yesterday and Saturday night and um I just wanted to show you that they are clean there are no I don't know if you can tell there are no muddy footprints, there's no leaves, there's no pieces of dirt anywhere. Um, the only place, now I, ha I have been wiping their feet. I haven't let them just totally run in the door without wiping their feet. But even with wiping their feet before, as you've seen in the last video, the clip I shared, there'd still be little muddy uh, paw prints everywhere. But there are none around the mats here. The only place, and that's the towel I use to wipe their feet, the only place where there's pieces of dirt Oh jeez, is right here by the back door where I can't put a rug because my door, um, just being too flush with the ground, I can't find a rug to fit here. Um, and then there's some pieces of grass, leaves, and all that on the mats here. But nothing coming out this way or into the living room. So I'm going to tell, this is my update on these mats and my update is I love them <laughs> because if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, I would have to not, if not every day, almost every other day, sweep my floors out here and mop uh, because of dirty paw prints and dirt and leaves being brought in. Now I could get my, I probably will get my vacuum and I'm going to clean up by the back door and then I take the hose on my vacuum because you cannot vacuum these because they stick up the little mic microfiber I call them what are you doing to that kitty you guys be nice are you trying to play kitty always goes up to him wants to play and then they chase him out <laughs> they chase him out of the living room <laughs> um but the little like nubs microfiber nubs around this you can't vacuum it so I take my hose and just go over it to suck up all the dirt and leaves so I probably will do that today but I do not have to mop or anything I am so happy and I wish I would have bought these before when I seen them but I was hesitant because of the price now I could just smack myself silly because I have with five dogs if I would have had these before, it would it would have been so helpful. <laughs> so I'm glad I have them now. And if you guys are interested in them, they and this is not sponsored. I purchased these myself, but they are in my Amazon store. So if you're interested in them, you can uh, click on that and then check them out and check out the reviews for yourself. Now, like I said, there are negative reviews to every product because not everybody is happy with everything um, with every product. So, but I'm going to tell you, I love them and I'm so happy. I don't have to think about 
everyday vacuuming these floors anymore. So anyways, I've got to get myself ready and I'm going to go run to a store and buy something that I think will be helpful when I groom these boys and I'll share it with you when I get back. See you in a minute. Hey guys, so you better get down, get down, get down. <laughs> I went to the store to get what I was going to do for the grooming room. Shh, you be quiet. What I was going to get for the grooming room, but I didn't bring it home today. It's getting delivered uh, Friday. Because if you can tell behind me, um, this is a new chair. My husband, get down. They see what I have in the chair, but I don't want to show you guys yet. Get down, Mickey. Get down. <laughs> Um, my husband surprised me Saturday we were out. I went to an Ikea for the first time ever Saturday. We had to drive an hour away to Canton, Michigan and got to go to an Ikea for the first time ever. And, um, it was really cool. Uh, bought a couple things there. Not for, sorry about that guys. I had to, uh, stop the cramp camera for a minute because my phone was ringing. What was I saying now? Oh, I got to go to an Ikea for the first time ever in Canton, Michigan. That's what I was saying. And um, it was really cool. It was huge. Um, anyways, I got some dishes there. My husband got a couple, bought a couple prints and frames he's going to hang in his office. Um, some coffee cups for his office. So it was just kind of a, cool, a nice... Saturday was beautiful. Uh, it wasn't raining during the day and it was a beautiful day. So I took a drive and went out there. But then we came back and he's like, I want to stop at Art Van Furniture Store. And uh, he was looking for a conference table, a different table for his uh, conference room. It didn't have to be an actual conference table. He was just looking for like a dining room set. We found one in the clearance section. Um, and then he surprised me and said let's go look at furniture because <laughs> I've been complaining about how uncomfortable our furniture is because if you've been watching our videos you'd know that we purchased this about a year and a half ago about a year and a half two years ago I can't remember exactly and it was in their uh, tent sale on clearance and it was 500 bucks for the couch and the love seat I'm sorry I stopped petting you um, for the for the set um, so it wasn't the best set it wasn't we knew it wasn't gonna last forever we knew it wasn't gonna, it wasn't real sturdy um, so yeah it's kind of worn out and it sinks really low when you sit on it and we were complaining about it how we wanted to get new furniture so picked out new furniture this is the chair um, they actually had the chair that went with the set in the clearance section because somebody had brought, um, refused it during delivery because it didn't fit in their space along with the couch and everything. So they had just refused the chair. So it was on clearance for like 200 bucks cheaper than, uh, the normal price. So we got this chair. We got to take this home because they had it in stock. We got it right, actually it was a right on the floor. So we brought this home and then Friday we're getting the couch and love seat delivered. So what I went to pick up, because this is a power one, it has a power button to lift up your feet and recline you. Um, they forgot to give us the cord when we brought it home Saturday. So my husband had to go back, get the cord, and they gave him a $25 gift certificate for his troubles. And I'm like, well, what are we ever going to use that on? We just bought a furniture set. What, you know? And then I was remembering they had something there I wanted for the grooming room. So I was like, yes. That would be like half off because what I got was only $50. So I will show you that Wednesday when I get it along with the furniture. So anyways, so since I can't show you that stool, I thought I'd show you something that um, I picked up while shopping with my daughter yesterday at Big Lots because um, they had their 20% off everything sale. <laughs> and I wanted to see how the dogs react to it. So here it is. It is a <laughs> skeleton, a skeleton doggy for Halloween. <laughs> yes, it doesn't move or anything, but it makes, um, oh, I never knew there was a switch down here. Oh, you can just turn it on there too. 
but it barks and wiggles its tail and the lights glow on it. <laughs> so I thought we'd see what the dogs think and they're very interested. As soon as I see it on the chair, they're very interested. And I should apologize if I look like a wet dog myself because we were out in the rain uh, when we went to purchase what I got at Art Man. So let's um, put this on the floor. Let me um, point the camera down, guys. Hold on. Yeah, I do look like a wet dog, don't I? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's point this on the floor. Here's what it looks like up close. <laughs> I only bought it because it was 20% off. <laughs> my husband said, what? We don't even decorate for Halloween. <laughs> I was like, well, I got to see what the boys think of it. Here's the... <laughs> so let's sit it on the floor here. And let's turn it on. Oh, did you see that jump back? They're very interested in the tail, it looks like. What is that? What is that? What is that, Mozzie? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Schnauzer, it, it, I think they got it at Hobby Lobby, and you push the paw and it kind of jumps around and does a Christmas song. I thought about trying to find that too and seeing how the boys act, but anyways, I thought it was kind of cute. I think he's a kind of cute skeleton doggy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, the garbage men are coming. Okay, guys, we'll see you. Um, if I don't see you before Friday, we will see you Friday and I'll show you our new furniture and I'll show you um, what I bought for the grooming room. Sorry I haven't been posting videos as much. Um, I had a really bad earache this weekend too. Um, and I think it's all due to sinus. So it's finally starting to go away, not bothering me so much. But it's just been, this time of year, I get really bad I really have really bad sinus problems going on. So, um, yeah. So if I don't see you before Friday, we'll see you Friday. Bye guys. <laughs>